G'day guys, Dimple Ports. We've got to talk about this. Jake here again from Bain Racing. Okay, the key with any R&D is understanding our what, why's and how's, our mechanisms of action, the science behind why shit happens. And the first point I'll make here is airspeed. We're not even in the right mm -hmm. zone to compare the two. Okay, a golf ball is sub 300 feet per second. After that, they get much worse. We're back to a smooth surface, we'll actually do better. Uh, where a port is plus 300, uh, feet per second even on our averages up to 690 feet per second peak um, the next point is a golf ball ability golf ball's ability to fly through the air is done by the reduction of the low pressure zone behind the ball remember this is a buff body not a streamlined vessel like a port is so really two principles we shouldn't be comparing but again let's let's break them down a little bit more so this reduction in the drag coefficient or the negative pressure behind it uh, is done by thickening of the boundary layer by creating micro eddies on the surface, little turbulent eddies that run along the surface. This will extend our separation point and reduce our pressure differential behind the ball, which is great for a ball, but it is pointless for an optimized port to have uh, increase thickening of the boundary layer while velocity increases. This only limits our mass molecular flow potential. In other words, how many molecules we can get into the cylinder and limits power. So it doesn't work, guys.